Once a day milking is a management tool that farmers occasionally use during times of high workloads, feed shortages or in the final few months of lactation. Dairy NZ has conducted several experiments investigating the effects of this short-term once-a-day milking strategy. At Dairy NZ we've recently had a program of research that's focused on strategic use of once-a-day milking, so looking at using once-a-day during those certain times in lactation to try and get a handle on what the effects are, so what the effects are on milk solids production, on the body condition score of the cow, and also on the bottom line, so what does it actually mean to the farmer at the end of the lactation. Probably contrary to popular belief, when, when cows were milked once a day, they didn't actually reduce their, um, their feed intake. So when we offered once a day cows and twice a day cows the same pasture allowance, they actually ate the same. So even when the cows were restricted, there was no benefit um, on feed demand of milking your cows once a day. When cows were underfed, we saw a drop in milk production, as would be expected. And when those underfed cows were then milked once a day, there was an additional drop in milk solids production. So about an extra 10% decrease in milk solids production during the time that they were milked once a day. And what we also saw, which was interesting, is that a very short period of once a day milking actually has a carryover effect on milk production. So if you, during the time that the animals are milked once a day, you'll see a decrease of about 20% in milk production. And then even after the animals have gone back to twice a day milking, they'll continue to produce less milk, basically for the remainder of the lactation. If you were faced with a short-term feed um, deficit in early lactation, so such as in this, this coming spring, if you were faced with um, you know, flooding or bad snowstorms, then um, profitability-wise, you're actually better off to try and bring in supplements if you can and actually feed those animals during that period. If you can't get supplements or there's a delay in getting feed on farm, then once a day milking will improve the energy balance of the cow. It could have potential benefits for reproduction if that feed deficit was to occur around that planned start of mating time. But just to be aware that there is definitely a financial cost to milking cows once a day because you have both that short term and the long term reduction in milk production, which of course is a reduction in your revenue. In the trial that we just recently conducted, we had a three week um, period of underfeeding and early lactation and cows were either milked twice a day or once a day. And if cows were underfed and milked once a day for three weeks in early lactation, it gave us a loss of milk revenue of $180 per cow. So um, in order to plug that deficit, we actually, um, you would have been able to afford to pay up to about $1,000 a tonne of feed to bring the feed on farm. So, Definitely from a financial point of view, if you could bring supplementary feed onto farm during a situation like that, that would be the best option. We're in um, one of the Dairy NZ research farms at the moment. This is the live farm that's based in Newstead, Hamilton. These facilities are called the Kaling Gate facilities and these are based on a lot of structures from America where animals are housed indoors and um, you know, have access to feed indoors. But what is particularly special about these facilities is it allows us to accurately measure intake of grazing animals. And the only way we can do this is to be able to weigh out what the animals are offered in feed and then also what they leave behind. It also gives us the option of offering different types of feed to animals so we can see the impact of different types of feed. When a cow goes from being milked twice a day to once a day, there's an impact on the mammary gland, so on the udder of the cow. And what once a day milking does is it reduces the number of cells in the mammary gland that are there to produce milk, and it also reduces the activity of these cells in the mammary gland. And that's why um, when a cow is being milked once a day, for even um, a short period like three weeks, there'll be an ongoing negative, um, negative effect. And that's because the mammary gland never actually completely recovers from the once a day milking. So you've got less cells in the, in the udder and the mammary gland to produce the milk and the cells are also less active. So you have less milk production even after those cows have gone back onto twice a day milking. If you look at the effect on the total lactation, which is what a farmer would be interested in, you'd see about a 10% decrease in milk solids production over that entire lactation, just from milking once a day for three weeks in early lactation. There's both costs and benefits, so yes, you do decrease the amount of milk that the animal produces, but there are definite body condition score and animal welfare benefits of this, of this management strategy. So for each farmer, they have to weigh up their scenario and their situation and decide what's the best for them to do. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.